This is the Holly Ball Podcast. My name is Stefan. You can follow me on social media, Twitter, and get that AI. Before we start, I just want to say this is a Real American Patriot channel for Real American Patriot. If you're not a Patriot, please exit the channel. On that note, let's start the show. How are you guys doing? My name's Stefan. This is the Highly Well Podcast. I already mentioned that. In this episode, I want to discuss this um, story I read from Zero Hedge. All right, give me one moment while I'll adjust this um, article. Okay. It reads, Impossible food value at $2 billion is the new Beyond Meat. All right, if you don't know what Impossible food is, it's this meat substitute that they've been pushing by the globalists right now. Right, that the, the these people think that people will actually go to to burger joints to eat to eat fake meat, especially Burger King. People think they go Burger King to eat fake meat. All right, but let's get, read this. All right, following following the footsteps of of easily the most successful IPO in recent history, Beyond Meat, Impossible Food, maker of the vegan meat substitute, has just ra- raised another three million dollars. The company is now valued about two billion dollars, according to FT. I think it's Fortune magazine. I don't know. The least, the latest round of fundings raised by Impossible Food was led by Tesmasic. I don't know how to pronounce that. T Tesmasic, Tesmasic of Singapore and Lee Kang Sing Horizon Ventures has taken the company to total cash ra- raised to over seven seven hundred fifty million. Meanwhile, Beyond Meat's share prices has tripled since the last two weeks ago when they listed for $25 per share. It now has a market cap of $5 billion and was last trading at $95 handled. All right. Impossible Food Fundraising comes after the company just announced a partnership with Burger King. I'll get to that. All right. Who rolled out an Impossible Whopper to more than 75 a restaurant, 75,000 restaurants, doubling Impossible U.S. footprint. The Impossible Whopper is just like a classic Whopper, but made with an Impossible patty, according to the Impossible P- Promotion website for the partnership. What is the patty? Mostly soy protein, potato protein, coconut oil, sunflower oil, and hemi, the sites read. All right. Jose... Sili, I don't know pronounce that. Sil? Jose Sil, chief executive restaurant brand Burger King owner, said that, that the offering will attract new customers to the Burger King targeting an international rollout before the end of the year. Demanding for Impossible Burger have led a shortage of some restaurants. The company is going to be using the newly raised capital to meet demands. David Lee, Chief Financial Officer and Possible Burger, said the capital will be used to bolster production capacity. Quote, we are challenged with unprecedented increase in demand. We're doing nothing to increase our supply. Unquote. Impossible Food was founded not even a decade ago in 2011 by Pat Brown, a Stanford biochemist professor. Emphasized campus, emphasized Stanford U- University. You don't know Stanford University, they have a lot of CIA ties. All right, example Google. All right, well, let's continue. The company is targeting eliminating a new animal in the food chain by tw- by the year 2035. It will be adding a second production line in California, where it already has a plant. Since the company launches in Singapore in March, sales has tripled in Asia, with a sub- substitute being used in the traditional meat dishes like dumplings. Both Impossible Burger and Beyond Meat has based their meat substitute on molecule science using the cell and mimic animal protein Using plant nutrients, the company both claims that their products have the same taste and texture as beef. That the product even bleed like regular beef burgers, except the bleed is protein created through the genetic engineering GMOs and the possible burgers of Beyond Meat and 
dumb to ble- dumb the bleeding down simply using beetroot juice. All right. Whether or not the substance will be ultimately a bad feed fat bad fat remaining this main to be seen. By judging that BYND trading is trading an impossible ability to raise capitals. Investors didn't look like they're going to be waiting for beetroot juice in the street before buying the suits. Right. Here's my opinion of this, right? They're really pushing this thing out. If you don't know what this thing's about, this is about genocide. It's about agenda. It's about it's about pushing their narrative of reducing greenhouse gas. All right. There's a lot of I don't say there's a lot of um how to say this? There's a lot of stories out there. The reason why they try to push this greenhouse gas agenda is to block the sun rays from us, right? To el- to eliminate carbon, which they don't understand that we are carbon beings. We need carbon to survive. And greenhouse gas is not the only contributor to um, raising temperature. There's other factors as well. They're not telling you guys, right? Green, um, climate changes. There's climate change has been going on for eons. Here's the thing. Here's, here's what they're not telling you. Climate change. You know what's climate changes? Climate changes is seasons, all right? When there's different seasons, climate changes. They don't understand it. They're not, they, they try to push this narrative, all right? And I'm going back to this thing of Beyond Meat. The reason why they're pushing this because they want to link, they want to reduce cattle reproduction, cattle production, all right, and methane gas. That's what it is. They want to, they want to, pe- they want people to be off of meat, all right? Off when they're off of meat, that means they can reduce cow production. That means they can reduce methane gas. That means they can reduce Livestock, they could, they could, they could stop um, deforestation, right? For cat herd, feed less people, right? It's a, it's the idea of the movie Soylent Green. If you hadn't watched that, is a, it's a concept. They're afraid that food um, depletion in the future. So basically, this is like Soylent Green, right? And look, it said in the article right here, is genetically modified, impossible, right? The protein created through G- GMO, g- genetically engineered. All right, and if you're a vegan and you want to eat natural, why would you put this in your body? If they if they're trying to attract, if Burger King or Impossible Burger or Beyond Burger try to attract vegans, and you know vegans are the most anti-GMO group of people out there, why would they eat this if they know it's GMO? All right, everything about this is genetically modified. Why would you put this in your body? If you're vegan and and people who's into their health, right? Would it make sense that you wouldn't want to eat GMO food? Right? And it's clearly telling you all these things made is all GMO. Right? Why would a vegan or vegetarian put any GMO bot product in their body? I don't understand it. Regardless if it's bean, regardless if it's potato, regardless if it's um soy protein, you don't want to put this in your body because it's GMO. It doesn't make any sense. If you're a vegetarian, why would you put this in your body? If you were a vegetarian or vegan, why would you try to eat meat substitute? I don't understand. That's why I I really think that people who are vegetarian are really are into this um, stage of insanity right now. It's all agenda driven. Try to convert people to veganism. All right. If a Democrat person like Bill de Blasio try to voice you not to eat meat, you know this is a catch. All right. And they're pushing this whole agenda. And the founder, he he was a Stanford graduate, right? Biochemist professor of Stanford. Stanford CIA. All these Ivy League, all these um, all these Ivy League schools, they're they're Saturn worshippers. Why do you think they wear the mortal board, a black square on their head? All right? If you don't know what black square represent, a black square is a represent of Saturn. Why? Why you think all oh, when you graduate you wear a black robe? Saturn worshiping, right? But they're clearly pushing this agenda, all right? Beyond meat and Burger King. If you're a vegan, look. If you're a vegan, health conscious person, why you even go Burger King? You know darn well that none of their food are G- are organic. Their bun, their pickles, their relish. It's all GMO. If you are looking for healthy food, the last place last place you would go to is Burger King. All right, I never had a good experience at Burger King. Burger King food is, is is um, is awful. Right? 
It's subpar. That's what Burger King is. And if you're a health nut, why would you even go to Burger King? I don't understand that. I do not understand that as well. If you're a vegan, right, and, you, and, peop, and a lot of vegans are associated with health conscious, health food, why would you go to Burger King? I don't, it's still baffling me. All right, and now just, they just hit $2 billion. And you know, and the $2 billion mainly because it's an article stating that it may, it's mainly consists of Asian, Asian, um, um, partners. And they use it to substitute um, dumplings and stuff. So basically, you know, it's, it's for the Asian market. That's the reason why they hit $2 billion. Because the Asian people are primarily buying this junk. But, yeah, that's my opinion. Well, let me know you agree. All right? Because of what I'm saying, Google don't want to sponsor my channel. Don't want to monetize my channel. That means I'm not bounded by any outside interference. Let me change everything back. One second. I'm still getting used to this. All right. Enough of that article. I'll leave it in the description below. Because what I'm saying, Google don't want to sponsor my channel or um, monetize my channel. Because of that, I'm not bounded by any outside interference. All right. I mean, I can say whatever I want. I'm unscripted, unrehearsed, unedited. All right. And you want to support my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. When you subscribe, it shows me that people are actually watching my channel and they encourage me to make more channel. I right, want to support me. Because of that, I'm not taking any, any donation. The point of this channel is to spread out awareness, to w wake people up about what kind of sick world they're living in. All right? Let me know if you agree. You think this is an agenda-driven, impossible burger? Would you eat this? All right, knowing that's GMO. It's clearly GMO. It's made in a lab. All right, would you eat this? In your, would you, if you're a health nut, would you put this in your body? All right? If you're a health nut, would you put anything from Burger King in your body? All right, let me know if you agree. This is the Highly Evolved Podcast. I don't know, guys. I thank you for listening. My name's Safan, and I'll check you guys in, out in the next episode. Please. Peace.